so hello everyone uh, in this video uh, i am going to explain about the arm chip peripherals of uh, program dsps programmable dsps okay see uh, you should uh, before going to start about this topic uh, so there are uh, two to uh, repeatedly two topics are, uh, are uh, obtained one is the arm chip peripherals of general programmable dsps and another one is on chip peripherals of tmc 3205x micro uh, that is processor okay so almost the peripherals on chip peripherals are similar uh, similar to each other okay so but uh, you should uh, know the difference between on chip peripherals of programmable dsps and as well as an on chip peripherals of tmc 32056 uh, dsp processor okay so here uh, mainly now i'm going to start the about the on-chip peripherals so the pdsp is generally uh, which is maintaining some on-chip peripherals okay so the main purpose of this on-chip peripherals what is the main thing main purpose is that uh, so by using this on-chip peripherals by using this on-chip peripherals uh, okay so which can relieve the the cpu functions uh, which relieve the cpu functions from the routine functions okay so by using arm chip peripherals uh, these uh, uh, arm chip peripherals which relieves the uh, cpu from the routine functions okay that is mean that means what here uh, to reduce the uh, chip count on the dsp system based right on the programmable dsp so this programmable dsp which is having some arm chip peripherals okay and we listed out the some of the arm chip peripherals are there one is uh, uh, on chip timer serial port and a tdm serial port and a parallel port and bit input output port host port common ports and on chip a2d and d2a converters and programmable dsps with the reduced instruction set of computers and a, a complex instruction set of computers risk and sysc processors okay now we will discuss one by one so what is the first one on chip timer on chip timer okay so as we know that every microprocessor every processor has a one timer and this timer which is used to provide a clock pulses to in order to uh, executing or accessing the any instruction okay so here this on chip timer uh, which is mainly uh, pro provides two of the common applications of the timers which are generation of uh, uh, periodic interrupts to the programmable dsps and uh, generation of the sampling clocks for the a2d converters okay so especially this on chip timer on chip timer which is used for generation of periodic interrupts to the programmable dsps and generation of the sampling clocks for the a2d converters okay so for this uh, uh, this programmable dsps which is using the timer mode timer mode can be programmed by this uh, programmable dsps okay this timer can generate a single pulse or a period of trains of pulses okay and this on chip timer may also generate a single square wave or a period of square wave okay and this period of the timer is also um, uh, programmable okay which can be programmed that means the time period of this program can be varied uh, by using a programmable of a period space uh, that's all about on chip timer okay and the next one is a serial port okay so serial port uh, again so serial port which uh, serial port which indicates this and this pin particular on chip peripheral pin this enables the data communication between the programmable dsp and an external peripheral such as a2d converters and d2a converters okay or an external peripheral that is rsc 232 c device okay so this port generally normally have an input and output buffers so that the pre programmable dsp it can perform write and read operation from the serial port are in parallel form and in the serial port output buffer is empty or the input buffer is in full okay so these devices have parallel to serial and serial to parallel converters inbuilt into them <coughs> okay sorry along with this serial port it is also performed this uh, shift clock can be fed uh, either from the program dsp or external device can supply it and the serial ports can operate either in the asynchronous mode or synchronous mode of operation okay so we know uh, already we discussed that this asynchronous mode of operation synchronous mode of operation and microprocessor okay now in the synchronous mode uh, what happens we will see 
So in asynchronous mode, the transmit it transmits the data and receives the data lines along the user for communication and bit clock is transmitted from either end. Okay. Whereas in synchronous mode, uh, we will see uh, the on chip peripheral, the serial port, serial bit port, which is used as a uh, both bit bank and uh, frame synchronous signal, which indicates the beginning of the first bit of data transmitted using synchronous mode and which is transmitted from the serial port to the input output device and also from input port to the serial port okay so this is one example how a serial port to bit which is uh, uh, working under the programmable dsp processor okay next we will see the tdm serial port okay the programmable dsps have a special serial port called as a tdm time division multiplexing tdm serial port okay so this uh, this peripheral this programmable dsp which communicate with other devices are programmable devices by using tdm okay so here are one of the devices which can generate the frame synchronous pulses that indicates the beginning of a tdm frame and bit clock the duration for which the bit is to be transmitted so here which, which is given one time frame tdm time frame okay it is consisting of eight bits okay so eight bits are there ch1 ch2 ch3 and up to the ch8 okay so in this case uh, there are eight slots are uh, is referred to as a tdm with eight channels okay in each of the slot a number of bits may be transmitted by the channel okay along with in tdm serial port which normally uh, uses four lines of the for the purpose of the serial communication they are t frame the frame synchronous signal and t clock that it is bit clock and tier the address of the serial device which is uh, uh, useful the outputting data in a particular tdm slot and t data the data is transmitted into the tdm channel by the authorized device by the authorized device okay next so here we can see that the signals of t add and t data that is the data transmitted and address of the serial device which is in uh, both are in bi-directional and uh, tri-state control so that only one of the device transmit the data and address in these lines at a time any one of the device can generate the t frame okay and clock signals and they are used by the other devices as a reference some examples are shown in this figure okay so this is one of the example and the next one is the next on chip peripheral port is a parallel port okay so this parallel port enables communication between programmable dsp and other devices to uh, to be faster as compared to the serial communication by using a number of lines in parallel by using a number of lines in a parallel okay so in addition to this they also uh, have an additional lines which are uh, useful for stroping or for handshaking purpose okay so already you will discuss in the stroping and handshaking purpose in microprocessor okay the purpose of stroping and handshaking in, we will discuss in our microprocessor subject and the programmable DSPs have two approaches for assigning lines for parallel port. In the first approach, it is used uh, TA, okay, and the data bus itself it is used for parallel ports, okay, and it can achieved by using allocating a specific address space for input output whenever this address space is uh, addressed using the input output instructions, okay, and the parallel port signaling including handshaking signals are sent over the data bus. Okay, so that's all about the parallel ports. Now we will see bit input output ports okay so the programmable dsps have an additional input output ports that are single bit wide okay so these port bits may be individually set or reset or read bit input output ports okay so the port bits may be uh, individually set or read. we can we can enable those bits uh, either set state or reset state or read state so these bits are useful for controlling purpose but can also uh, we can also use it for this data transfer also okay but what is the difference between uh, this parallel input output ports and serial ports with respect to the bit input ports there are no handshaking signals for these input output ports that is the main difference between uh, bit to input output ports to the previous ports okay some of these bits are also used for conditional branching and or calls okay. so the next one is the host port so the programmable dsp also have a special parallel port normally which is 8 bit wide or in a 16 bit wide which enables that uh, to communicate with the microprocessor or personal computer which is called as host port so the host can also generate interrupts and cause the programmable dsps to load a program from rom to the ram on reset almost all programmable dsps have this port okay the next one is the common port so these are all parallel ports that are used for inter-process communication between number of identical programmable dsp in a multi-process system 
okay so here I'm, i can explain this uh, common ports with the help of one example you see a multiprocess system which may be built using a number of uh, uh, processors for this purpose communication and data between the these processors uh, between the common ports and each of the eight bits with is provided since the data is to be processed in maybe 32 or more number of bits the programmable database have provision for spoil, uh, splitting this data okay and the on chip uh, a to d and d to d converters so some of the programmable dsp are targeted towards uh, voice applications so such as uh, cellular telephones and uh, uh, tapeless answering machines uh, and have a to d converters and d to d converters inside the dsp okay so for the, uh, the best example for this type of a to d d to converters are, are the uh, processor motorola dsp 561 processor are the best example okay and the finally the last on chip preferred is the risk and cisc process okay so already we discussed about the risk risk means reduce the instruction set of computer and the cisc means a complex instruction set of computers okay so the programmable database may be implemented by using either the risk process or cisc process okay so example if ti tms 320 series process uses risk process that means they are using very are uh, uh, less number of instructions that is reduce instruction set of computer processor so if we want to use a large number of programmable DSP from analog device, we are using Motorola and the TA, Texas Instruments. TA means uh, Texas Instruments. Uh, uh, these processors, they are using CISC processors. Okay. So these are all the on-chip peripherals of uh, general purpose programmable DSP. Okay. So students, uh, still if we have no doubts, okay. generally normally they are asking about on-chip peripherals. They are not particularly, uh, they, are not, they are not asking about the on chip peripherals of a particular processor okay even though if they ask almost uh, those peripherals which are very very similar to this uh, this general purpose of uh, on chip peripherals okay you can easily understood those concepts very well okay thank you